Now we've all got to do our bit for the planet, so I've been sorting out all my rubbish for recycling before putting it in the right bin. Now this wheelie bin here, I think this one's for plastics. No, in fact I think this is um, a car. The new Mitsubishi iCar, in fact. It looks like a smart car on steroids. Instead of two doors and two seats, this one has four and four, plus folding rear seats and a decent boot. And whilst it might look like a throwback to that old advert about going to work on an egg, this little car packs a lot into a compact frame. A feat achieved by mounting the little turbocharged 660cc engine towards the back and driving the rear wheels. This layout could have been a disaster for handling, though the eye manages well without being particularly exciting to drive. It's also got a four-speed auto box that's even less thrilling than the Smart. It gets a bit frantic when you need some urgency. It's not too hot on the motorway either. There's quite a lot of wind and road noise. Let's face it though, this car is designed to be a compact, fuel-sipping, eco-friendly urban runabout in a funky package and it delivers pretty much. I've had loads of people ask me what I'm driving. It has a tight turning circle and it's a doddle to park. The CO2 emissions are low enough to qualify for road tax at just 35 quid a year. And the car can average 55 miles to the gallon. At just over 9,000 pounds, there are cheaper, if less compact, city cars like Fiat's impressive Panda. But the iCar spec is high and includes climate control, alloy wheels, round electric windows and electric mirrors. The car also comes with an iPod connection. Let's face it, if you've got the front to call it the iCar, then it's got to be iPod friendly, hasn't it? Except I can't get the thing to work! Mitsubishi's plans for the iCar in the UK were a bit unambitious. Just 300 cars were imported initially and sold out straight away, with buyers quoting design and green credentials as their main reasons for flashing the cash. Perhaps the company was faint-hearted because it's better known here for rough, tough pickups and 4x4s and that loony Evo road-going rally car. Whatever the reason for Mitsubishi's reluctance though, I think they've got a winner here for townies or anyone who needs a cute second car. Just don't park it next to the wheelie bin on collection day. Here, hang on mate! 